Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and this question was posted uh, about um, the seed method from the random library. So I was a little hesitant about this, so I'd love some feedback if this, because I wanted to stay with um, Python here, but I'm going to delve a little bit more into the computer science. And if this is well received, I'd actually like to do one more, but I want to stay really good and close to Python. But if you're new here, uh, what we do is uh, we do a video a day and we try to build one skill set on another. And like the example today is it was a question in the comments about a video that was um, talked about. It's a method. It's in the uh, random library. So if you have not seen uh, random seed met the seed method from the random library, go check that out and come back here and you'll understand more of it. But all right, so random numbers. Let's, let's really look at it. So there are really no true random numbers. It's, um, it's an algorithm. So let's just let's just peek at it. So all right, they're called ran pseudo random. So the way that what Python uses is it actually uses um, the Mersenne Twister core generator. Uh, Marin Mersenne was a 17th century mathematician, and he uh, messed around with prime numbers. So that is the methodology that Python uses for its random generators. So now the topic in question is the seed method. And what the, the, po the question that was posed was, I think I used one, two, three, and the question was posed, what would happens if you used one? Well, one would be its starting point. So let's just talk more about this all right what what the random generator uses it actually uses the time on the operating system so that is how it seems so random is that it looks at the time on the cpu and then generates the random number going forward so to override that to check to ch test and make sure that your numbers are like if you wanted to compare outputs and you were randomly generating numbers but you wanted to so you didn't have to go and do it you would want to check you would want its starting point to be the same so let's just look at it so from random and again if you are new here and you haven't subscribed please make sure you're hitting that subscribe button and most important that notification bell because I don't want you missing anything or being lost. So all right, uh, endpoint seed. So, all, right, da, 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 da. <laughs> all right, so seed one. So initialize the state. So then uh, let's do Randint. Forgot to do that. So seed one. So randint uh, one through ten. So then, if I do this again, I get ten. Do this again. All right. So this is where I left off and the random generator it leaves off here and that is the algorithm and then it moves and wherever it leaves off it, it picks up but you can override that with this so guess what will come out three so this is the this is what initializes that's all that this is if this is not set it goes by 
the system time. That's all that's all the seed method does is it's a starting point for your pseudo random number because in computer science there is no random number. It's just an algorithm. And this is the algorithm that Python has chosen. And that's it right there. And again, this uh, Marin Mersin is the math mathematician that's behind it. But I hope this answers uh, the question. And if this isn't too much computer science, I'd actually love to do one about linear time that I kind of ran across that is pretty cool. So give me some feedback. Uh, if this is the direction that you guys are interested in, I'd love to go that way. Like I've said before, this is your channel. So if this is the type of video you like, please click that thumbs up. And again, please subscribe and don't forget the notification bell and just keep watching. And also, um, the pie games, and I'll do a more, I think I'll do a release an extra video tomorrow in case you missed this one. But right now, pie games is leading. So on Friday, I'll announce if we're going to do the pie games library or the uh, matplotlib library. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.